So what? So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What, what you want? What you wanna do? Die? I don't know, nigga. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. We can't make a part two. Look. So, take this with a grain of salt, but according to Daily Bugle Spidey, I love Spider-Man, but I don't know how trustworthy this shit is, rumor Zack Snyder will reveal Wayne T. Carr's Green Lantern deleted scene at SnyderCon fan event. Now, I've been saying this for a while, saying like, you know what, it would be cool, it would be cool if we got to see Wayne T. Carr's unreleased Zack Snyder's Green Lantern scene, and, but I didn't know how it would work, especially with Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder, but now... Thanks to Pamela Abdi and Mike DeLuca having a strong relationship or healthy relationship matter with Zack Snyder, this seems more and more possible. And I would not be surprised if we actually see it. So, fingers crossed. Ask and you shall receive, sweet boy. And it adds even more credence to the fact that Wayne T. Carr posted this on his Vero, I believe, saying, I'm watching 300 and this is the auditorium that Zack built. So I was like, okay. And especially when Zack Snyder posted that he will be screening Man of Steel, BVS, but not Zack Snyder's Just League, which I found interesting. Like, how come you're not screening Zack Snyder's Just League? Maybe because he's, you know, editing some shit to make sure that his Wayne T. Carr scene actually fits within the movie. That would be awesome. That would be amazing. So... Listen, gun to my head, will we see the Wayne T. Carr Green Lantern scene? Yes, I do believe we will see the Wayne T. Carr Green Lantern scene. Now, could be wrong, could be wrong, but I just have a feeling since, you know, thanks to, thanks to again, Mike Duluka and Pam Amdi, Pam Amdi, excuse me, um, having a, a strong relationship with Zack Snyder, that I, I think it seems more likely, and I, and I think they gave Zack Snyder permission, like, sure, include this scene in your in your Just League movie, which would be, again, mwah, chef's kiss. And also, Zack Snyder posted this Amy Adams picture, uh, My Lois Lane, <clears throat> excuse me. So again, like I said, this is Zack Snyder's farewell tour. This is his Bon Voyage. This is his transition into the Netflix world with Army of the Dead and Rebel Moonverse. And, and I'm thankful that Pam MD and Mike DeLuca did this for Zack Snyder. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't have COVID. But yeah, it, it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm super thankful that Pam, that Pam MD and Mike Duluka did this for Zack Snyder because, like I said, this is his goodbye. And I know people are speculating, like, oh, it's not over, bro. It's not over. They're going to release Justice League Part 2 and Part 3, and it's going to be amazing. I'm like, dude, they're not going to do that. Do I believe that Zack Snyder will work for Warner Brothers again? Absolutely. Like, Zack Snyder's a talent, especially if his Rebel Moon first takes off at Netflix. I'm sure that Warner Brothers would like to work with, with uh, Zack Snyder again because the previous management, for whatever reason, absolutely hated Zack Snyder. I don't know why. They just did. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe maybe we'll never find out. But for whatever, whatever reason, they hated Zack Snyder. But this new management obviously has... Um, they would like to work with Zack Snyder. Uh, maybe not for a DC project, but for something unrelated uh, to DC. So again, that's always a possibility because I don't think Zack Snyder is going to stay on Netflix forever, but he will work with Warner Brothers once again. It just won't be for a DC project. But again, I don't care because I like Zack Snyder and I like his movies and I, I hope I, I hope Zack Snyder does something brand new that's not DC related because again, he did all he could with, with DC. Like, like, what else could he do? And unfortunately... His DC projects did not resonate with the mass general audience. But if he does his own thing, his own IP, a la Rebel Moon, Army of the Dead, then I think that's where his success will mostly lie. So Pam Amdi, Mike DeLuca, Zack Snyder, I think that's why they did it. Because I think Zack Snyder or Pam or Mike went, went to each other. They talked to each other on the phone. It's like, hey, listen. Um, I'm not going to be at Warner Brothers anymore. I'm not doing DC projects anymore. I would like to do something for the fan base, something nice, uh, a nice resolution. Uh, could this be possible? And I'm sure Mike DeLuca and Pam Andy said, yeah, absolutely. Like, how can we make this work? And that's why Zack Snyder thanked, he, he thanked them at uh, Film Junkie Stream. Uh, and he said that, you know, they were wonderful to work with. And, you know, they allowed this to happen. And I thanked them. And, you know, and maybe, you know, we, we could do something for the future. And of course, when he when Zack Snyder says that, he's like, "Oh, it's the fans took it." It's like, "See, work for the future, just like part two and part three. He's like, "No, work." Like when Zack Snyder says, "I hope to work with them in, in the future," meaning a project for Warner Brothers, not just like part two and part three. I'm like, I keep telling you this, but people don't want to listen, which was just weird because I always end up correct. But uh, that's what he meant. So Pam Amdi, Mike DeLuca, thank you so much for doing this. And like I said, this is Zack Snyder's. This is his farewell tour. So instead of being sad about it, be happy and be grateful that we got this. And hopefully we get 
the Wayne T. Carr Green Lantern scene, which would be absolutely phenomenal to see. And I hope we get it, and I think we will. As always, love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah! Big kiss. Batman, what? Start talking. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just hear me out. Ah! Ah!